All right, here's a Casablanca Four Seasons three ceiling fan in white finish. So I got back in September of 2016 from Brandon C. Johnson. I finally figured out a way to floor test it. The thing that this fan came with, I kind of just rest this fan on it because unlike the Huawei, the way this fan like, is just flat on the bottom of it. So I figured out that the hang through from the Casablanca Venus would work due to the shape of it. So this fan is able to be floor tested now. The fan is from March of 2012. I I know it's from 2012, but I know it's like from early 2012. And the fan um, was was doing a box when Brennan got it. He got it off of Craigslist. Um, last year, I think, in 2016, to be exact. There's the Casablanca logo. And the blades do have some marks here and there. The blades are reversible. Way to bleached oak. And I will be showing them to bleach oak side after this. It does use a spinner motor. This is actually a hunter spinner motor to be exact. Because uh, this fan's actually made by Hunter, for those who don't know. And it's basically hunter hunter quality. Um a bit before it's I won't say that it's as good as the fans that they had in the nineties and eighties and such. Probably like two uh, thousands hunter quality. Performance is, uh, this, the performance on this fan is not as fast as I've seen out of 4 Season 3 fans go, or 4 Season 2 fans, so. It might have a bad cap on it, I really don't think that's the case, it could just be that it's a newer version of it, so it just, it just doesn't perform as well as it should. But it still moves a very good amount of air regardless, for what it is. <clears throat> so, yes, yeah, classic switch housing. Has the Delta Two looking vents on it. Overall, I do like these fans. Um, they are very clean looking. Um, one of the reasons why people, don't, a lot of people in the fan community, don't like these is because they are cheaper fan from Casablanca. But I feel like that's not a fair reason to hate it, hate on it so much because Casablanca obviously made this fan for a reason. Is or when they still sold these, I think they're discontinued actually right now. But um. There's a reason why they make fans like these for people who can't afford the more expensive fans from Casablanca and such. So for the for people who can't afford free four hundred dollar fans or five hundred dollar fans, or at least they make something for people who, who can afford a decent fan from them and actually performs pretty well. So um, yeah. But um, I've always liked these type of fans, especially the more modern looking builder fans from the two thousands. I did see quite a few of these as a kid. I'm not sure they were Casablanca, but um. I know I've seen fans that look very similar to this or probably seen that thing as a kid. I just didn't, never noticed a tag possibly. I did, I saw 10 white ones at um, the Air and Space Museum in Washington, D.C. Yes, that's the one that has the cast iron, cast iron Dayton ceiling fan from like the 60s and 50s. I know they're very old. I do have videos of them on my channel. You just gotta look them up. It's actually been almost three years now. It's gonna be three years now, it's only one year last time, but um, they had the Casablanca Four Seasons, I think it were the twos from what people have been telling me. Um, I didn't look, to, I don't remember if they had the hang fruit or they just had a regular mounting, like a regular canopy. I know the, the three has the hang fruit and the two has the, um, what is it, the um, can, the regular canopy. But um, I wasn't even gonna get a video of them running because I didn't know where the switches were. But um, it looks like they weren't used in a long time. But um, yeah, it was like opening McDonald's area. But they looked pretty good there. And um, I saw there is another one that's actually close by to me at a barbershop, which has been almost three years as well that I recorded that one. Oh, however, the owner didn't let me um, change the speeds on it. Um, he, so he spoke Portuguese. I'm the guy. I had to have a customer help who spoke Portuguese explain to him that I just want to do a video to fan and such. So. Yeah, I don't know if I hope you would do a remake of that one, but yeah, it was a polished brass one and it actually had a Casablanca pull chain on it. But um, yeah, I do like how these fans work, so um, let me go ahead and start off on low speed. And the only issue is the chain's all the way on this side. I have it facing like this because I like to show the logo one of the fans running. So yep, here's... Oh, 
Alright, you guys know. Um, if you, after you guys see the speeds, like how it performs, let me know in the comments below if you think that the, cap, the caps could be going out on it. It could just be that it's just newer fan from Casablanca slash Hunter. Hunter Wonka could be exact, so that could just be the other reason why it doesn't perform all that well. As it should. Guys, I just saw a Cole's video. After I tested this off camera, um, I watched Cole's video of the black one he got not too long ago. And it went a lot faster than this one, so I'm wondering if it's just that it's a newer fan, so this doesn't go as fast. Kind of a lot of newer fans, they don't really go too fast compared to the older ones. And they did sell these fans from like the late 90s up until the a few years ago, so um, yeah. Um, I do have the box for this fan, it's actually down in my basement. So, um, yeah. So, um, yeah, it, it had the um, brush nickel model on the box and the oil or bronze one. I actually would like to find those, but they, I do like how these fans work in those finishes. So, um, yeah. But I mean, it's, low speed is very slow on this, so I don't know what's up with that. Yeah, the female bird's making a lot of noise recently. The noisy guy that eat, one guy that's more usually noisy in the past videos, he's not as noisy recently, but the female's been instigating the other ones and such. But the female's voice isn't as loud as the male one, so that's a good thing. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and move it up to medium. Kind of a shame that Casablanca discontinued this because there are. I know there's a lot of people who know the brand Casablanca. So, if, and also these are good fans. So, like, if. I, I'm pretty sure you can, you can find these on eBay still. There's still a lot of people who like would sell these on eBay. And this is actually my second Casablanca for Seasons 3. But, in general, like, the model name wise, I do have the Hugger version of it in polished brass. And I have a download version, which is this one right here. Um, Brandon actually did install this in his attic for a short time. He had it over his drum area. So, um, yeah. I do feel a nice breeze from it on, from over here. And this fan, even though it doesn't go extremely fast and high, it does move a good amount of air either way. It could just be a fan that, like, there's some fans that rely more on pitch than um, performance, than, like, than the speed. This one was a little bit bent, so I had to bend the blades a little bit. Because I had, I've been having them sitting in the corner for quite some time now. So, um, yeah. I kind of had some blades stacked on top of each other, so it got a little bit bent here and there, but... And also increased the pitch a tiny bit. One of them, some of them, the pitch was a little bit messed up. Okay, let's go ahead and move up to high. It's actually making the low profile move a tiny bit. Not a whole lot, but then again, the low profile experience aren't as well broken in compared to the Infinity that was installed before since that fan has been used over the past 20 years. And this one's only been used recently, the um, low profile. And I already expected the fan to move like that, kind of like, so um, since the um, hang through is just, it's just sitting on top of the, the um, canopy basically, it's not like attached to it. Especially with the longer blades, you know, while later when I did the same thing with that fan, um, it moved a tiny bit on its own, but not as much. But since this fan has longer blades, it makes more sense that with the added weight to it, that it would move on its own a tiny bit. But not too much. So that's good. It goes, honestly, it goes as fast as like the Hampton Bay Glendale I had in my bedroom at the old place. 
Maybe a bit slower, honestly, but it still does move a pretty good amount of air. It does move more air. Maybe a little bit less than the Dope Profanos in my electric room. Maybe a little bit more. But, um, it, it isn't a bad air mover, but it's not as fast as I'd like it to go. But, um, it could just be because it's a newer fan, so. And I know it's got its quality internet as good as it used to be, but that could also be the reason why it's going to go extremely fast. But it still does move a pretty good amount of air. Yeah, it's definitely a pretty good air mover either way. A little bit less than a Huntress fan from the 90s. Just a little bit less. And that's why it could not go as fast. If it went faster, it would definitely like move as much. But I mean, I, I do feel a good breeze from it over here. It does move the air around pretty well. But it would do a lot better if it was faster. So let me go ahead and shut it off. Spin down, put it back in place. It's actually waiting too forward, so after the spin down, I'll fix it. And actually, I move, usually when I do the video, what I do is actually move the noisy bird, the male one, to a different room and put him in a different cage so he won't. Cause his voice is a lot louder. So, um, yeah. I kind of wish the Cosmog made like a, a damp rated version of this fan for like a bathroom. This would be, because it does look very similar to like the Regency fan that they had. That was like for bathrooms. It was like a small five weighted fan in white. I think they made them in different finishes too. In fact, I do have a Regency catalog. Um, it doesn't have the covers on it no more, unfortunately, but um, I don't know what, so I don't know what year it's from, but it's for me, they're like 01 or 02. I know that much, but um. Yeah, I had that one in, the cap in it, so I can definitely gonna go ahead and show that on video one of these days. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, spring breaks has officially started today for me since Hardy went to classes. So that means I have all of next week off. It's not April break for, like in school, like high school and such, or in school in general, but, but um, yeah. College in college we have it like in March instead. All right. So glad I'm able to full test fans in my bedroom and not in the living room like at the old place. It's a bit it's a bit quieter in my bedroom compared to the living room. It does go a little bit slower on reverse, but that could also be because of the increased pitch I did to make it more... Because some of them, the pitch, some of the ways the pitch wasn't the same, so that was affecting the um, airflow earlier, before I started recording, so yeah. But it actually could have a cap issue, I'm not sure. So yeah, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Yeah, it definitely seems to go so on in reverse. Just make a bit of a motor hum to it, or a buzzing sound. 
Even though it goes slower on reverse, from what I can tell, um, it actually does move pretty good on reverse. For for what it is. It seems the high speed on this is more like a medium high. That's what that's really all I can say. But still, does do a good job in circling in the air. So let me go ahead and shut it off. And so that'll be it for this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed and stay tuned for more videos to come.